Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi. Welcome back. No, this is not a Hot Wheels sponsored video, but you will see Hot Wheels all around. Hey, if they want to sponsor, we can then put you up can videos like a plane worm. We can do that. Okay, so like always, I was going to vlog today and I failed, but mm -hmm. I did quite a bit of shopping, so I thought I would kind of put all my shopping into one video. And yeah, so this is kind of like after Christmas sales and New Year's sales considering today's New Year's Day. But I'm just gonna tell you what store. I'll try to tell you prices if I can remember. And yeah, so first I'm gonna start with this bin. Um, God. It's holding toys. Um, so these are little like interlocking, um, what do you call these all? Gears. They're gears. And you like stack them and you turn them. And I got this for Micah for Christmas. These little things a while back. Um, and he got it for Christmas and he loves it. But there's no way to store it. So I was like, no, because they were all over my living room and I needed something for them. So I originally was going to go to Dollar Tree, but I found these at um, Hobby Lobby and they're like really like nice. They're originally $10, but they were 40% off. So I got this one and like a pale pink one. The pale pink one is for Aubrey's Barbies. And then I got this for these. So they're really nice. It was about a little under $13 for two of those. And also, I didn't realize that like every store wanted to close early today at like 5.30 and 6 because it's New Year's, so that was kind of annoying. Okay, so next place I will show you is we went to an outlet mall, it's called Edinburgh, and we went to the Carter store and we got a few things, so I'll show you those real quick. This is a like little um, fleece like sack, it zips up, um, it's for Milo to sleep in. Um, because you know it's cold oh goodness and yeah I mean there's not much more about it this was only $6.97 it's originally $18 so it's a pretty good deal and I like that it's the fleece and that he has room to like kick his legs and stuff but it can like still be warm and we got it in a medium there was only a small and medium so I chose medium because he's a chunky boy so we got that $6.97 um, I got this one these are like what little sleepers or something what are they called? I don't know. But they're just a the little normal zip up things with the feet on it. <laughs> but these were $9 a piece. And these are, they're not fleece, but they are, are these fleece? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but they're like a really soft material. Um, yeah, so we got that. It was $9. It's originally 16 So almost half off. Um, we got this one. I like it. I thought it was really cute. It looks kind of like Pacer colors. This was $9 as well. It has a little puppy dog. Yellow sleeves, the white, blue stripes, and the little puppy. So that's that one. And then I got this for Micah. Um, because he needs like, well, he's pretty good on pajamas now. But for a while, he was wearing like way too small pajamas. And I just think we never realized that he needed new ones. We need to go through his Yeah. Thing. But um, these were like four seventy eight or something, because they on here they are five ninety nine, and then it was an additional something off originally twenty two dollars. But um, it says beware morning bread that has dragons, and it has the like fleece pants. Honestly, I would never pick this for him, but because it was like under five dollars, I'd get it. But I don't really think it's that cute. But they're pajamas. Do you think they're cute? No. Yeah, I don't really like them, but for that price and for those like fleece pants, it's not bad. So that was from Carter's. I'm pretty sure that's all we got from there. We spent about like 33 maybe. Okay, so I will show you Ulta. Oh wait, let me show you my last thing that I got from Edinburgh. So we went to the <coughs> Kate Spade's outlet store there. Not trying to buy anything and then Alex told me to get this very very cute um Kate Spade purse the um what is it called again it's called small Kona in case you guys are here in case anyone is like "Ooh, I really want this purse I will show you guys what the tag says it says small Kona I doubt it's supposed to say Kona 
but it's called Dawn Place Velvet. It's in black, and um, so it's an outlet store, so you obviously don't pay full price, but it was originally $2.79, and we paid, what, like $83? It's so cute. I haven't, like, played with it or opened it or anything yet, but that's what it looks like. So it has these, and then it has a strap, and then it's, like, all this space in the middle and then two side pockets and, um, and there's like even more like pockets within it so I really love it so yeah the purse that was originally $280 it was it was 70% off mm -hmm. yeah so this was like one of the places that was having like really good after holiday sales so that was an $80 purse I love it. I can't wait to put my stuff in it. Okay, I'm going to show you this store real quick because I went here the other day. And I got this stuff. So this is from Kroger. Um, other places it's called, what, like Smith's? Smith's? JC? No, yeah, that's all I know. But, um, so we went through their holiday stuff. And I got just some tissue paper. Some Christmas looking tissue paper. It's just red and green, huh? Oh, I thought it was white inside. Oh no, it's just red and green. I got one, two, I think I got three of them. Mm -hmm. And they were like, what, like, I don't even know how cheap. Really cheap. Yeah, they're $1.99. I think they were like 80% off or something like that. So I got three of those for next year. And then these, I really, really like. I always wanted some of these, but they're so expensive. And these were originally... $24.99 and they were marked down to $10. So I'll show you them real quick. This one is Any the. Batteries? Huh? Any batteries? No, it comes with it. Um, it doesn't really say. Oh, it says Cozy Cabin. So I'll take the thing out and let you guys see. But it lights up. It's super cute. And it's like ceramic. But it's really, really cute. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Glass, like huh? usually do. Oh, I really love that. Okay, there's that one. And then there's this one. I almost want to go back and get another one of these ones. <gasps> this light came out. <gasps> I might have to super glue that. The light light like, came out. Mm. Look at that. Oh, wow. I can super glue it though. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not turning on. Okay, I'm going to return that tomorrow. What the heck? Okay, well, yeah, this one lights up too, but for some reason, either the batteries are out. Oh, wait. It looks like it got messed up. So, yeah, I'm going to have to return it, and hopefully they have some more, but that is that. Those are both $10 a piece. So, yeah. Really cute. That was from Kroger. Okay. Now, I went to Ulta. I just have Ulta and then Target, and then I'm done. So Ulta, I just needed a few things. So I was out of mascara, and I don't really have, like, a mascara that I love. I just pretty much use whatever. I mean, there's, like, some that you can obviously tell that are, like, not good. Like, there's some elf ones that are, like, bad. But um, overall, like, I'm not picky about mascaras. So I got this one because it was half off. What is that? Oh, um, it's the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. It says it's super fat, super long, sex proof mascara. So I'm going to try that out tonight and I'll let you guys know just kidding, if it, you know, holds up to these standards that they have. Um, but yeah. Oh, I didn't realize this. Uh, did you hear what I said? I'm going to test it out and see if it. Hold up to its standards tonight and I'll let them know. It's sex proof. Oh, okay. <laughs> but on the back it says, um, and sex proof holds up in hot and heavy situations. We tested it ourselves. That's very nice of them. Um, so I don't have to do it myself, but isn't the packaging so pretty? So you don't have to do it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this was $15. I know. It's $15, but it's mascara. And then I got my hair products that I love. Well, hair product. 
It's the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy line. I always have like people like like when I'm at work and stuff ask me what I use on my hair. And this is what I use. Not that they watch my channel, but um yeah, and it's like really cheap. It's like eight dollars or something. And usually when you go to Ulta and get this stuff, it's buy one get one half off. So I always do that. But it wasn't buy one half get one half off today. Um and then I got another real techniques sponge and I actually changed the packaging because I just need another sponge because I use mine for way too long what happened Ew. okay and then I got um some OPI top clear coat so I can paint my nails and then I got the NYX precision brow pencil I'm gonna try this out tomorrow if I don't like it I'm gonna return it it was like eight dollars but I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I really wasn't wanting to spend $18 on it. And if this is bad, I'm just going to spend the $18 tomorrow and get the one that I actually like. So we'll try that. But that is all that I got from there. I spent $44.90. Oh, wait, sorry. No, I didn't. I spent $39.91. It was originally $44.91, but I used a $5 gift card that... Alex cashed in for me on Verizon. Um, never stop doing. What? Hey guys, never stop doing. True. Really? True that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all I got from Ulta. And then the rest of the stuff is from Target. Okay. So a lot of the stuff's from the dollar spot. These are some dish towels. I've been really, like, really into like navy color stuff and like cream and like navy and white. And I had a lot of that today. So it says the dishes can wait, life won't. So that was really cute. I think these were three dollars. Yes. So it came with that one, and then just like a little like plaid looking one on the back. Let's see what else I got. Am I? Oh, I'm missing a bag. Shoot. Will you get that for me? Okay. I got that. I got this little um, cardigan type thing. I've been really needing one. I finally bought one. This is from the brand A New Day. I actually like this brand. That's the brand of my coat that I bought from them. But it's just a gray, like a charcoal gray, just like really soft cardigan. And it has pockets, I'm pretty sure. Yes, this was $22.99, so expensive. All right, this is for Milo. I'm really surprised these were marked down that cheap. These were on clearance for $4.48, but it's like a little three pack of some long sleeve like onesies. They're 12 months, so it'll be for later on, but we just have a black and white striped one. Um, this one on the bottom says baby bear and then this one just has like some little zoo animals on it so I thought that was adorable for $4.48 it's pretty good especially since it's Carter's okay and then this one is the Cloud Island brand this was also $4.98 these are originally $10 these are in six to nine months so this one says save water drink milk this comes with four of them. Another black and white striped one. This is just a solid gray. And then this one has like some little cat eye things or whatever. Mask. What? <laughs> Probably, there's some cats. And like superhero mask, I guess. Look at it. Okay, and then I got this from the dollar spot as well. I'm not really sure where I'm putting it at, but it was really cute. It's a rug. It says family, a little bit crazy, a little bit loud, and a whole lot of love. I feel like it's more for like um, appearance than like actually like usable. So I don't think I would actually like put this in the front door and want people to put their muddy shoes on it, but got that. That was $5. I wasn't going to get these, but I just got them because that lady was getting on my nerves staring me down. Okay. Huh? 
No. When I was like, I hate when people stand by me at self checkout. Oh, I hate when oh, people yeah, hover. Is it hover? Yes. yes. I hate when people hover over me. I'm not stealing anything. Back up and give me my space. Okay. So I got three of these little succulents. They were a dollar a piece in the dollar spot. Um, which I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet, but I'm redoing a lot of rooms in the house. So I'm just going to save these. I really wanted to do like cactus or like succulent in one of our bathrooms, but Alex said it would be weird. You said cactus. For a cactus. cactus would be weird. Um, so we'll see, but I really love succulents. So I will save those for something. Don't worry. All right. So I got just this little calendar for the house. It's for 2019. It's just all gray. Every month, all gray. It was $3. This is a little coffee banner. This was a dollar in the dollar spot. I got this for, um, I'm going to eventually have a little coffee bar area. Um, in like our front room slash dining room area. So this is going to be saved for that. I have a lot of things that I'm saving for. So this I thought was really cute. I, the more I think, look at it, I don't know if it's navy or not. It looks like it. But um, it's just this banner, and I'm getting a or I'm getting an entertainment center for the front room, and I'm gonna dangle this across the like entertainment center. It's from IKEA, so whenever I get that, this will go with that. Didn't I say I was gonna do white, right? Yeah. Um, I got this. I'm excited. I've always wanted one of these. But I don't know how to say this brand name. But it's the one at Target. But it's the, um, it's like um, a spoolie and the things that you use to like cut your hair on your eyebrows. So that was $9. I don't know if you saw that when I added that. Yeah. But what you do is Japanesque. like, maybe, mm -hmm. Japanesque. Japanesque? I don't know. But when you like do your eyebrows, like you brush them up and mm -hmm. then like the stuff that like hangs over you take these and you snip it so your eyebrows aren't too long. You can do it to yours. That would take a lot. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But I got those, so I'm excited to use those. That's it for that bag. I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess not. Okay. Um. So this is a little TMI, but I'll show it because I think it's cute. Or not cute, but I think it's cool. Um. So the brand, I honestly don't know what the brand is. I think it's L. L. So it's um, a chlorine free, like organic something something brand. So these are chlorine free, ultra thin pads, no synthetic pesticides, dyes, or fragrances. Um, so you got 36 of them for like $6. They're like the overnight ones. Um, Every L purchase supports women as agents of change. I want to open it and see what one looks like. They definitely don't look like you're buying pads. Sorry. Only if Alex would just get me pregnant, then I wouldn't need to buy these. My bad. Okay. Oh, they're cute. Cute packaging. Look at that. Doing a pad review on my channel. Let me open one up. No waste it. I'm not gonna waste it. Okay, they just look like normal pads. Um, cute. But yeah, so it's supposed to be like super healthy for you, cruelty free, all of that. And then the last <laughs> two things are um, clean and clear acne triple clear exfoliating scrub. Um, we just. Every so often we like scrub our face with an exfoliating scrub and this one's new so we're trying this one. And then I haven't used these in forever and I love them but they're just so expensive. And they their stuff was buy one get one 25% off so I finally got some of these. But they really, they say they calm you and I swear I get so tired after I use these. So I think they work. It says it winds you down, cleanses, and removes makeup with sea minerals and sea kelp extract. I really, really love these. Um, so yeah, that is all that I got today from shopping. Um, we also went and had like 
what did we have for lunch today? Oh, we had McDonald's, and then for dinner we have Olive Garden. It was <clears> so <throat> good. Service was very shitty. <sighs> yeah, like always, but it was really good. And I have some leftover chicken parm in the fridge that I may or may not eat tonight again because I'm kind of hungry. But yeah, so that is it for my after holiday sales. I think we did pretty good on everything that we got. Considering this purse is originally $280, like, yeah, we did good. Tomorrow we have to go to Costco because Costco's new coupon book starts tomorrow. So we got to get some diapers and just, I don't know. It's really the only thing we need, but we'll, I'm sure we'll look around and find some things. But I will maybe vlog tomorrow and put the video up. We'll see. But that is it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.